<laughs> you know, when I first entered real estate about 10 years ago, I had a senior who once told me that how well to do a landed owner is, is determined by how far apart the front gate is away from the main door. And I think this is pretty far away. Now we're going to check out a freehold detached bungalow right here today at District 17. This plot is situated at Lengkok Mariam in the Changi Grove vicinity. We are sitting on a massive land size of 8225 square feet. Now this is a two-storey detached and in terms of build-up area, it's about 5,000 square feet. That also means that if you're looking to maximize the space, you want to do a rebuild, that's very possible, although that's not necessary because it's in an amazing condition. The house is newly done up with a and &A that was completed just four years back in 2018. The condition is simply fantastic. Check out this home tour with us. <laughs> Welcome to Lengkok Mariam in District 17, which is in a cluster of landed properties along Flora Road, Old Tamlis Road and Upper Changi Road North. Now the entire land plot along Lengkok Mariam is classified as a fully detached zoning status. As for the other landed properties in the vicinity, they are mostly in the terraces and some semi d So this is the most premium and sought after landed cluster. You get privacy, you get exclusivity. Anyone that drives past along this road is probably just going to be your neighbours only. And we are within close proximity to the Singapore Expo as well as the Changi Business Park. A short drive away would also lead you to Jewel and the Changi Airport. Have a look at your car porch. It's about 30 meters long in which you can park about seven cars. If you have guests coming, you can open the front gate to park another two cars. That's a total of nine cars. What? The long driveway is one of the beauties of this house because your main door faces away from the front gate. This gives you complete privacy. Anyone that walks or drives past your house, they wouldn't be able to look into your house. Welcome to the beautiful garden. If you love gardening, I think the luxury of the land size of this house is going to allow you to comfortably do it. These lovely plants are personally grown by our owners. They are all organic vegetables. Just have a look at them. There's cherry tomatoes, chili padi, lime, everything you want, you can do it here. And due to the fact that this plot is of a detached status, you have outdoor space that is linked throughout the external part of your house. So the garden plot links to your backyard for your laundry and then towards your swimming pool area in which we will visit that space a little later. Now if we flip over back to the main entrance, orientation wise for the main door you are facing towards the south, a little southwest, main gate would be southeast. Internally you have got four beds on the upper level with three en suites along with a powder room. On the ground floor there's a common room, granny room, helpers room right at the back and a common bath. Alright I think it's about time we head into the house. Let's go! Now the first part I want to bring you to is this section of the house. This is like your common entertainment area and we are expecting guests. You can enjoy a game of pool. More importantly, you get this extremely high ceiling in the middle which really perpetuates the entire space. So when our owners did the A&A &A about 4 years back, they changed all the doors to Fasina doors. These are high cost and high graded doors so you can expect good heat and sound insulation within the house. Have a look at the size. Internally, the ground level is segregated into five sections. You have the entrance section over here with your shoe cabinets, a longish living area, great sitting space, nice feature wall done up. You have a beautiful entertainment zone in your common area, great dining space, as well as a dry and wet kitchen. Now, if you are currently looking for detached houses in the D17 vicinity, you might be pondering, should I go for a huge land size like this one or should I be looking at the newer detached houses that were rebuilt by the developers? Now, if you were to check out the new semi-detached houses in District 17 with a land size of about 3,000 square feet, in the market right now, they are asking at about 6.2 million, which translates to about 2,001 per square foot. If you head over to District 18 for a brand new rebuilt detached 4,003 square feet, in the market, they are asking over 1,009 per square foot. This is at about 8,002 square feet. Asking price is at 9.9. .9. That would translate to about 1,002 per square foot for this plot. So if you think about it in terms of potential appreciation in the next 5 to 10 years, 
if $200 per square foot is the potential appreciation in the next 5 to 10 years, the quantum difference will be significant between the two cases. If you go for a brand new detached right now and it appreciates for $200 per square foot, that will set you up for a quantum appreciation of 860 k For this unit with a large lens size with the same $200 per square foot gain, we'll be looking at a quantum appreciation of 1.6 million. So not only is more value for money in terms of price per square foot, in terms of capital potential, appreciation, I think that can be a lot more attractive as well. Now let's take a look at other parts of the house. Do you know there's a hidden door in this house? It's nearly flush against the wall right here. Very, very seamless. The door opens up to your storeroom and of course, very good in size. Now there's two dining spaces in this house. You have the indoor and the outdoor dining area. Personally, I've always loved a round dining table. Always easy to reach out to the food. But of course, if you prefer a rectangular setup, definitely possible as well. Dry kitchen right behind with an island countertop right in the middle. For your quick breakfast in the morning or when you're expecting guests to chill over some drinks, this is going to be perfect. Lots of storage as well with pull-out drawers beneath. The kitchen cabinetries fully done up to ceiling height. Space for your fridge. You've got your built-in oven right here. Definitely a functional and fully equipped kitchen. Let's check out the outdoor dining. I think this space is going to be great if you have gatherings and you're going to have a steamboat, mukata or even a barbecue event and you don't want the smoke to be contained within the house then I think this will be the perfect spot in an outdoor setting and if you love gardening, ample of space right there for you and due to the massive land size, there's lots of space for you to play around and if you work out, you can come over here for yoga or your static exercises and if you just want to chill outdoors right here in the evening We've got a swing right here. And importantly, we've got a beautiful pool done up here along with outdoor wooden deckings, very nicely done up by our owners. And of course, this is of a detached status, no adjoining walls to your neighbours, so the outdoor space surrounds the entire house. From the pool, it will lead you to your front door. And as we flip over on that side, that will lead us to the yard space and then towards the huge garden that we saw earlier. And so right here, you have your outdoor kitchen area so you can do all your heavy cooking and of course, do Towards here, that is the garden area and then towards the main gate area that we showed you earlier. So from the outdoor kitchen, you have direct access into the wet kitchen. Again, a very spacious kitchen layout, very good in shape, lots of cabinetries, even more right here, space for another fridge, five panels of floor to ceiling cabinetries, ample storage space for you. Links directly to your helper's room right here. Makes it easy for her going in and out of this zone. Comes along attached with a WC. All right, let's hit that in. So you've got a very nice little private spot right here. Perfect for your massage chair. So there are two bedrooms on level one. First one would be your granny room. Feed a queen or a king. Space for another bed if required. If not, this would be the wall space for your wardrobes. You've got your wall mounted TV. And this window looks out to your garden space, which is beautiful. Common bath is in great condition. Huge ventilation window. Got rain shower. Very modern fittings and nicely maintained. We have another room right here. This is an additional room for the family right now. So we're using it as a mahjong room, poker room kind of concept. Alternatively, this can be a study room or work from home kind of space. Window is facing the same direction towards the garden as well. Alright, I think it's about time we check out the upper level. Let's go! Alright, on level 2, once you're up from the stairs, you've got a huge master room and two more bedrooms as well. Now, of course, all these rooms come with your ensuite. You have an entertainment room right at the corner for your guests. We've built a powder room right in the middle. Alright, we're gonna start by checking out the first room right at the corner. Now this is a beautiful entertainment room that has been fully done up. You have a complete karaoke system, a lot of very comfortable cinema style sofas. Huge beanbag at that corner. I think the entertainment room is very thoughtfully designed. You have blackout curtains right here to fully enhance the entire cinematic experience. LED lights on the ceiling, full vibes of an entertainment room. A great space to entertain your guests or just chill out over a movie with your family. A dream setup for almost anybody. 
Now, in between your leisure activities, if you want to take a break, you can immediately access to the balcony. Very good in size. Now, the balcony is linked directly to the master room right there, in which we'll be visiting very shortly. Now, right here, you have a beautiful view of your pool. So from here, we are facing towards Old Tampanese Road and towards this direction, that's towards the landed enclave of Tho Crescent. Beyond that, you will hit the Changi Golf Course, Changi Village, as well as Jewel Changi Airport. Of course, there's lots of amenities. If you are to hit south, PIE towards ECP, that will link you to the East Coast Belt. Further down, ECP will lead you to MBS, Gardens by the Bay and the city area. All in all, very well connected. For now, let's head back in. You have a nice reading corner kind of space here. Space to fit in a bookshelf, two chairs by the side. Now this room here, very regular in shape. Easily fit in a king bed, TV wall mounted here along with built-in TV console. Great space at that corner for a study table. Now leading to your ensuite, you have your walk-in wardrobe. Three huge panels built up to ceiling height, lots of storage space. For your attached bathroom, very spacious. Your rain shower and the WC is segregated into another zone. Huge ventilation windows, vanity top, nicely done from edge to edge, perpetuating the entire space. Very, very well maintained. Now, the beauty of this room is that you have your very own attached balcony. Very usable for this size. This is the perfect spot if you have guests coming over. Maybe catch out with your friends over a glass of wine in the evening. Floor space is done out with grass. Definitely a great space for you and your friends. Now, you have a powder room right here, which is pretty much for your guests on the second floor. Sanitary fittings and finishes are all of great quality. You've got a ceiling embedded ventilation fan as well. Storage behind the vanity top. Four additional panels of storage beneath the sink. All in all, in great condition. On to the next room. This room right here is even larger than the earlier one. It has pretty much everything you need. Resting area is on this side. Size is great. Space at this corner. Chill out, read a book. There's so much of space in this room, you can even feel a cross trainer which makes working out from home very convenient. Now, here's the beauty of this room. Come. A fully dedicated zone for your walk-in wardrobe. Very luxurious, ample space for all your clothes, bags and accessories. Huge mirror mounted on the wall, easily check your dressing before you head out. And of course, you have your dresser at this corner. As we flip over, here's the dedicated study area. Nicely segregated away from your bed. Size is fantastic for your ensuite as well. Spending shower at this corner and your long bath right next to it. This bedroom just smells luxurious from edge to edge. I really like this room. And finally, check out the master. The largest of them all. And because the entire layer of this house is in a regular shape, so everything that you like to fit in in your master, you can fit them in. Your TV space, a king bed with two side tables, space at this corner for your fitness equipment. Now these partitions here have been cleverly erected to segregate your resting zone away from the other side. So on this side, against the windows, platform has been erected from wall to wall. This is where our owners do their meditation in the morning. Orientation-wise, this is facing north. No direct afternoon sun coming in. You have your study area right at this corner. And for this door, it leads you to your balcony that we showed you earlier. That leads you all the way to your entertainment room. So as you flip over on this side, through the sliding door, that will link you to the ensuite that's fully equipped Nicely done up, and if you want a long bath, that's very possible as well with the space right here. And the beauty of this room, you have a sliding door that will lead you to your full-fledged walk-in wardrobe. Six huge panels in total with three on each side. Extremely luxurious. And of course, your dresser is right at the corner. And from here, it leads you back to your bedroom, creating a very seamless connection within the entire master itself. Really fully done, isn't it? Alright, so we hope you have enjoyed this home tour with us at Lengkok Mariam. I think the rarity is that for this land plot, we are sitting at 8225 square feet. So if you are looking for a huge land size, definitely not something you can commonly find out there. 
And most importantly, E&A has been done just about 3 to 4 years back. So in terms of renovation and alteration works, there's definitely a significant amount of cost that you get to save on when you take over the unit. And especially if you're looking for an existing home in a ready-to-move-in kind of condition, check out this unit with us. More property details and our contact, they are in the link right below. Do reach out to us. My name's Andrew Ho, A-Team Property, the A-Team for your property. En suite, you have your walk-in connection within the entire <laughs> Your master itself and Naziha is there.